Okay. I have not done any actual number crunching yet, but I'm going to go ahead and say that I am convinced that this is in fact the PLTB450B. Uh, I popped it out of the uh, the host uh, because you can only see this when it's removed because of the beam clipping. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. All right, turn up the current here. Get it blazing a little bit. right here this is what I'm talking about right here see that it's not on the other end it's only on the one end uh, now in the pictures that I've seen online that is a definite characteristic of the PLTB 450B um, that and the fact that there's, uh, you know, the central region here is only like two or three, you know, two outer wings with a middle bar. Uh, whereas the, uh, the M140, for instance, is, uh, is like multiple bars, you know, three or more, or more than three like four or five so yeah it's it's pretty much uh, a deal breaker for me uh, uh, so uh, it's almost it's almost like a fingerprint I'm not I'm not exactly sure what that is over there it might have something to do with the uh, the uh, the, the dial or uh, yeah the Zener dial the laser that's in there uh, interacting with it somehow I'm not really sure uh, or it could even be just something that they uh, put into the into the uh, into the die itself just to give like a fingerprint so they can recognize their diode uh, and when it's you know if somebody tried to copy it like a uh, their intellectual property or whatnot. So, yeah, I'm pretty well convinced. Uh, but I'm gonna do some numbers on the on the uh, divergence uh, and uh, turn that off before it overheats. It's over. It'll overheat outside that aluminum block. So. Uh, let my equipment cool down here, but I'm calling that pretty much a done deal.